section 35 where Sampayana said, when the king of the Matsya, anxious of recovering the kind, had set out in pursuit of the Trigartas, Duryodhana with his counselors invaded the dominions of Hirata and Bhishma and Drona and Karna and Kripa, acquainted with the best of weapons, Ashwatthaman and Suvala's son and Dusasana, the lord of men, and Vivinsati and Bikarna and Chitrasena endured with great energy and Durmaka and Dusaha, these and many other great warriors coming upon the Amatsya dominion speedily drove off the cowherds of King Virata and forcibly took away the kind and the Kauravas surrounding all sides with a multitude of cars seized sixty thousands of kind and loud was the hell of woe set up by the cowherds smitten by those warriors in that terrible conflict and the chief of the cowherds, greatly affrighted, speedily mounted on a chariot and set out for the city, bewailing in affliction. And entering the city of the king, he proceeded to the palace and speedily alighting from the chariot, caught him for relating what had happened and beholding the proud son of Matsya, named Bhuminjaya, he told him everything about the seizure of the royal kind and he said, the Kauravas are taking away sixty thousand kind. Rise therefore, O Hanansa of the kingdom's glory, for bringing back thy cattle. O Prince, if thou art desirous of achieving the kingdom's good, set out thyself without loss of time. Indeed, the king of the Matsyas left thee in the empty city. The king, thy father, boasted of thee in court, saying, My son, equal unto me, is a hero, and he is the supporter of the glory of my race. My son is a warrior skilled in arrows and weapons, and is always possessor of great courage. Oh, let the words of that lord of men be true. O chief of all owners, bring thou back the kind after vanquishing the Kurus, and consume thou their troops with the terrific energy of thy arrows. Do thou, like a leader of elephants, rushing at the herd, pierce the ranks of the foe with straight arrows of golden wings is charged from thy bow. Thai bow is even like a veena, its two hands present the ivory pillows, its string the main cord, its staff finger board, and the arrows shot from it musical notes. Do thou strike in the midst of the foe that veena of musical sound. At thy steeds, O Lord of Silvery Who, be hooked on to thy car. And let thy standard be hoisted, being the emblem of the golden lion. Let thy keen-headed arrows, endured with wings of gold, shot by thy strong arms, obstruct the path of those kings, and eclipse the very sun, vanquishing all the Kurus in battle, like on to the wielder of the thunderbolt, defeating the Hosros. Return thou again to the city, having achieved great renown. Son of Matsya's king, thou art the sole refuge at this kingdom, and that foremost of virtuous warriors, Arjuna, is the sons of the Pandu. Even like Arjuna of his brothers, thou art without doubt the refuge of those dwelling within these dominions. Indeed, we the subjects of this realm have our protector in thee. By some Pina continued, thus addressed by the cowherd in the presence of the females. In words breathing courage, the prince, enduring in self commendation within the female apartment, spoke these words. Thus ends the 35th section in the Goharna Parva of the Virata Parva.